business from the inside out. Executive editor Patrick Olson tells Fox 11 LA some ways to spot water damage, like doing a smell test for mildew, looking for rust, and... Check out the air filter. If it looks like it has any water damage at all, that's the car you want to walk away from. So beware to avoid a flooded junker. Carmen Roberts... Fox News. The price of oil down a dollar on 78 bucks a barrel. Gas is up a fraction. AAA's national average for regular 341 a gallon. That's three cents less than last week. I'm Dave Anthony. This is Fox News. It's time for WPTV's first alert weather from the WPTV News Channel 5 newsroom. Now with seven meteorologists covering the Treasure and Gold Coasts 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Now here's WPTV's First Alert Meteorologist. Partly to mostly sunny skies for your Wednesday afternoon as temperatures get into those upper 70s. Close to 80 degrees today, but definitely in the low 80s starting tomorrow with a slight chance for a shower. And a few showers are possible Friday, but it's going to be very warm and humid highs getting into the low and mid 80s Friday afternoon slightly cooler for your Saturday temperatures drop back down into the 70s and it feels less humid by then I'm WPTV first alert meteorologist Jennifer Correa for WSTU 1450 Martin County's Heritage Station You are listening to WSTU Stewart Jensen Beach, Hope Sound, Martin County's Heritage Station. It's time now for the Casey Ingram Show on WSTU. The opinions expressed are those of the program host and guest and not necessarily those of WSTU. WSTU does not endorse products that may be mentioned. Any reproduction or retransmission of this broadcast is strictly prohibited without written consent of WSTU. It's time to call in with your questions and comments at 220-9788, 220-WSTU. And now, here's Casey Ingram. Welcome back, and uh, appreciate you tuning in to the Casey Ingram Show. We have a couple of great shows on tap today. Uh, the first half, we're going to have a repeat guest. I'm so proud to say that we have Dr. Alessandra Anzalone, or we finally call you Alex. <laughs> Makes it a lot easier, and he is from Indian River State College Chastain Campus. Lots of updates coming up. Second half of the show, I'm going to have Dr. Armin de Grossman. You can call him doctor. He seems like a doctor. He's actually an author, and uh, he has developed a book about the five traits that successful people have, and he's going to go over those traits. It's going to be a very interesting topic. But in the meantime, I want to remind everybody, this is Fair Week. We had the 4-H'ers on last week, and they have been showing their hearts out. Uh, if you go to the Martin County Fair Facebook page, you're going to see a lot of the programs the kids have been working on on Facebook Live. So it's, it's fantastic. And uh, you can visit them uh, through the 18th, and tickets uh, are on sale now, of course. And don't forget that um, there's going to be a praise and celebration night featuring Kane this Thursday, the February 16th. Uh, so that's a lot of fun. Martin County Fair, it's our one week to enjoy it, so make sure you get out there and enjoy it while you can. Also, remind to, I want to remind everybody about the best kept secret in Martin County, and that is the Fish House Art Center. Uh, spring break's coming up. Our friends from the north are coming down, so it's a great time to show them the little piece of paradise here in Martin County and the best kept secret, uh, which is down in the pocket, Port Salerno. You can come by boat, car, stroll the boardwalk, explore what the best kept secret has to offer, which is local artists, Airbnb, art gallery, boat charters, marina, craft and creamery, beer, ice cream. There's something there for the entire family. You can also write but uh, rent bikes and paddle boards. So literally, there's a lot there right down in the pocket in the Fish House Art Center. Look them up online, fishhouseartcenter.com, or give them a call, 772-221-5482. Commercial mortgage has been in the industry of small balance corporate finance since 2003. So congratulations, Commercial Mortgage. That is 20 years. Focuses on equity, new debt solutions, challenge corporate foreclosures, and debt restructures. Commercial Mortgage never charges a front fee or deposit, and consultations are always free. Areas of expertise include hotels, marinas, office buildings, restaurants, apartments, multifamily, condos, golf courses, home builders, and land development, including new and repurposed development. Call Commercial Mortgage LLC at 561 310 5295 or visit them online at 
commercialmortgagellc.com. Also, I want to remind everybody you can sign up for an email blast I put out every week just to let you know who the special guest will be in the studio, and you can do that at my website, thecaseyingramshow.com. And finally, don't forget about Indian Town Marina. Uh, it's one of South Florida's best boat storage facilities. It's located inland on the Okeechobee Waterway, very well protected hurricane hull, and it's a do-it-yourself or full-service boatyard. So any work you need done, Indian Town Marina is the place to go. Give them a call at 772-631-3272. Next, Dr. Anzalone, uh, you are a repeat guest, but uh, just let everybody know. Um, I've got a, a long bio here, but I'm going to shorten it up a little bit because you are a repeat guest. And, you know, you just said you've been in this position here for 19 months. So I'm sure most of you have seen Dr. Anzalone around town. We've got a lot of things we're going to cover about Indian River State College today. Um, but he earned his uh, Bachelor's of Chemical Engineering at the Universidad Nacional Experimental and I'm probably going to say this wrong, Politicencia? Politecnica. Oh, that was, I told you I would be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. I had the P right. So, and that's down in Venezuela. And you also got a Master's of Chemical Engineering from New York University's Tannen School of Engineering and PhD in Chemical Engineering from the University of South Florida. Um, you did postdoctoral research at USF in Materials and Biomaterials and over 28 years of experience in teaching and administration and higher education at four different institutions. So, you've really had a lot of uh, college and institutional background, of course, a lot of education. You received Hillsboro's Community College 2020 Champions of Diversity Exemplary Administrator Award and Florida Advanced Technical Education Center Manufacturing Post-Secondary Educator of the Year Award in 2013. So there's a lot more, Dr. Enzalone, and I know we have a lot to cover, so I'm going to cut that off so we make sure we can cover all the great things that are happening at Indian River State College. And folks, um, Dr. Anzalone was first on the show a year ago, and at that time you were introducing a new program. It was called the Promise Program. So it has been uh, started for a year now, and I'm so excited to hear how it went the first year and where you're at with it this year. Welcome. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for that wonderful introduction. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for having us again. Always. And uh, let's, let's start with Promise. Uh, last year we had over 3,300 pledges. Those people that wanted to do Promise. Out of those, in the end, we had around 2,400 students come to the college, and they have a high retention than our, our non-promised students. So they, they are staying longer with us. Fantastic. Which is very, very, very exciting to us. Now, another important fact is that 85% of the participants in Promise were Hispanic. That is much, much higher than our regular student population. Uh, this year, we're already, the line is March 10th, and it's a hard deadline. That's so coming right are, up. If you know you're going to be going to college, even if you are not sure you're coming to IRC, please do the pledge. It's on our website. It's an easy PDF form. You just fill it, and, and he sends it to us. Dr. Anzalone, what is Promise? The Promise program is a, is a program funded by our foundation, and we're looking for sponsors. So if you're interested or have your name in our Promise program, we, we'll be, we, we will be glad to talk to always, you. Always, <laughs> always. Always So sponsors. the Promise program covers each last dollar amount for tuition. So if you know you're going to college, you come to us, we ask you to do your financial aid, fill your forms regular, and then any tuition cost that is not covered by your own financing, uh, the foundation will cover it for you. So we have students that are getting all of their tuition covered or part of their tuition covered. This is absolutely fantastic. This is the associate's degree, your first two years, and you cover 100% of the tuition after you've exhausted what you have. Any other you're help able to that pay, you, right, that the other help that you're able for. to get. Mm -hmm. And this is Martin County students, Indian River County students, Okeechobee County students, and St. Lucie County students. In St. Lucie. So this year, the first year, we only did public and public charter schools. This year, we added homeschool students. So students that are in an approved homeschool program, they also qualify for Promise. So folks, this is, this is huge. Public, charter schools, homeschooled kids. This is a great avenue if you want to get your foot in the door in college. Everybody, you know, it's one thing. Everybody wants to try to go to college. And there's trades there as well. We're going to talk about that. There's so much that Indian River uh, State College offers. But this is a huge benefit to anybody. It's it's free tuition if you qualify, and exactly. it doesn't cost anything to find out if you qualify. Exactly. And yeah, and it is uh, the 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 AA degree, Associate of Arts, so that is a transfer program, or AS or AAS. Those are the workforce programs. So tell us a little bit about uh, who the students are that's coming into Promise. Do you have to be a senior to apply, or can you apply sooner than that? This year, it has to be graduates of this year. So okay. people that are completing high school this year. 
even homeschool or from any public or public charter school in our Ford County area. Makes sense, and they'll be starting school in the fall, I'm sure. Exactly. Um, let's talk a little bit about high school. Indian Town High School and Indian River State College have a wonderful partnership. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, in partnership with, with uh, Martin County School District, and uh, we have uh, Indian Town High School. Currently, we're operating out of the Boys and Girls Club in Indian Town. Our building is coming up. We have the topping out ceremony about a month ago. Uh, the roof is already on. Wow. The school should be done by July. And when the school is completed and we, we, we have enough recruitment, we're going to be at 400 students. Now, the idea of Indian Town High School is that students are going to achieve high school and have the opportunity of getting a credential, a workforce credential. So one of them, for example, is going to be CNA. So they'll be able to come out of high school with their CNA certificate. So they can already start making good money in our county. Talk about being able to graduate high school and hit the ground running. I mean, you, exactly. you're really setting them up for success. And uh, what's wonderful about this is, you know, you, you have the hands-on experience where, where kids know if it's something of interest to them. And if it is, you're able to graduate. You already you can, have, you can your have an associate's degree. Exactly. Um, you know, when you're graduating high school, and that comes down to dual enrollment, which is something Indian River State College offers. Can you tell us a little bit more about that program I for the students? I will be happy to do so. So uh, this year for Indian Town High School, we're recruiting students for ninth and 10th grade. So if you have somebody going into ninth grade or going into 10th grade that is a resident of Martin County, they can apply for our Indian Town High School. The application form is online too, so go to irsc.edu and find find more information. So any resident of Martin County, you don't have to be in the Indian towns, that, that specific exactly. school district? Exactly. No, not specifically Indian town. Okay. Mm -hmm. That is wonderful. Yeah. So dual enrollment. Dual enrollment is a, is, a, is a great deal. That gives high school students the opportunity of getting college credit as they're pursuing high school. And the courses they take, of course, in coordination with their advisor and our advisors, uh, count in both places. So we have, to give you one example, Clark Advanced Learning Center last year, 60% of the students graduated with their AA before they graduated from high school. 60% .60 had their AA right along with their college, Two years their of high their school graduation. Saved and no tuition. Parents, totally you know how that is. I was going to say, two, <laughs> the first two years of college, basically those are all generic classes I like to tell them, but it's something to give students an idea of, of what they might or might not like doing. It's, uh, the colleges offer these classes, and you, you see if maybe it's something you want to focus on. The first two years, no matter where you go, are pretty similar, so this is a fantastic program. It's a great opportunity. Again, imagine you are 18 and you already have two years of, ha of your four-year degree done. And or, no cost to your parents. And if you know you're going to a higher education and to a university, what an application. I've already got my associates and I'm only 18. Exactly. So on the 23rd of February, we have an info session at the Chastain campus at 6 p.m. So if you're interested in a dual enrollment, even if your student is in middle school, please come by. It's no cost. And you come in and we're going to give you all the information you need to know about dual enrollment to see if it is something for you. You said it's February 23 at the Chastain campus. Yes. What time? At 6 p.m. 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Very important informational meeting, definitely. I can't imagine anybody not wanting to go out to that. So <laughs> all of us parents know how much a college education costs. costs. So. <laughs> so that's the dual enrollment. And, uh, you know, I'm sure you have a lot of students in Martin County, and that's growing all the time, and in the surrounding counties as well, that, that take advantage of this. Yes. Yes. So uh, it's our area of growth. Between promise and dual enrollment, that's the area where we're growing. 100%. I can see why. It's it's very exciting. And not only that, you talked about a lot of hands-on training and, and training in the trades. Um, what about some future training centers here in Martin County? What's in the, you know, what, what's We are extremely excited. And, and as an engineer, I'm, I'm, I'm in love with what we're doing right now. So between Indian Town High School, is going to have trades as part of the, of the high school formation, right? Uh, but we're also working with the county and career source on the REACH Center. The REACH Center is building 17 at the airport. Uh, the county is going to retrofit it, and then we're going to be running short-term certificates that are going to be tailored to what the industry needs at that moment. So there is really no program. We only have a series of certificates that we will offer, including ESL and GED for those that need that, you know, to, to complete their other training. And, and Dr. Ansel, I was going to say, it was very surprising me to find out how big of an industry aviation here is, Martin yes. County. We, think of, we do think of agriculture, and we think of, of course, the marine industry, but the aviation industry is a very large industry and a long history here in the county. So to have this relationship with Indian River State College out at the airport, what a win. 
Yeah, just to tell you, the HER, which is across from the training center, is within walking distance, has 600 employees in Martin County. Wow. Just the HER. Wow. And then you have all the other service companies that are at the airport. Right, right. So the idea here is any training that supports the aviation industry or manufacturing, because many of the skills, you know, transfer to other industries. Right. Something like metrology, how to measure parts to make sure that they're on target, or machining, or uh, fabrication, or riveting, or welding. Those are all areas that we're going to be, you know, providing training for at the REACH Center. But it's all going to be certificates. It's not going to be degrees. Okay. Mm -hmm. Going to have a certificate. But it's still very it's still very important. It oh, yeah. shows they were trained in this area and they're they're ready to hit the ground running again. And for the employers in the area, if you're looking for, uh, you know, em employees, which we all are, right? <laughs> right exactly. now it's really <laughs> tough to find employees. This is one good place to go and, and look and reach out to Indian River State College. I'm sure you have a group that tries to find the right fit for employers and their students we are working with the with all the trade organizations here in the in the in the county and uh, they're going to be the ones that are going to be providing students now through career source we can find the funding so they can find participants and they can help us pay for that so if you have a company and you're short on people they they can work with you and help you pay for the training to upskill let's say your current workforce to the new skills that you're trying to achieve that is very interesting do you have any programs where maybe the students shadow um, or, or maybe, you know, they intern at uh, different, care, you know, companies to find out if that's an industry they're that interested in and to learn. That part of what we will be doing because we might have some participants that did it on their own and they don't have a job yet, but then we can provide them an internship opportunity with the employers and they can see that it's a good fit for the company and for them. So what's the day in the life look like for the student with dual enrollment? Because, you know, if you're not dual enrolled, you go at 8 o'clock, whatever time your school starts, and you're there till 3 o'clock. So what, what's the day in the life for a student that's dual enrolled? So a, a students do in, in different ways. Uh, some of them prefer to have, because they're in high school and they have block scheduling. So they do, for example, the first two blocks, they do take classes at the campus, and then they come to high school. Some do it at the end of the day. Uh, some do take virtual classes because dual enrollment also works for our virtual courses. So they can take those courses before going to school or while they're in school in their break, for example, they can take a class. Uh, so depending on the, on the situation for the student. What about uh, students that, what's transportation, I guess? Do they need to have a car? Uh, if they need to come to the campus, yes, and they need to find a way of tran for transportation. Now we offer many of the dual enrollment courses at the high school. And some of them offered by the same high school professors that we certify to teach our college courses. So, of course, that makes it easy. That, that would be the preferred way of, of providing dual enrollment courses. Absolutely. This is just very exciting. Folks, again, this is Indian River State College, and there's just so much that is offered through our, our local Indian River State College in conjunction with our high schools, again, the charter schools, and even the homeschooled students. So it's an exciting uh, career path, and it's it's a tough time for kids to know what they want. So to have this type of offering for them that they can go and, and really put their hands on experience and say, Actually, I really love this. I always thought welding would be kind of fun, but this is really neat. And, you know, let's just take welding for a second. Uh, that can be used in so many different areas. It's it's obviously anybody that has metal that needs any kind of connectivity with it. I guess I, mm -hmm. I don't even know if I'm saying the right thing there. I'm sure I'm not. But you know what I mean. But also, I've seen welding used in art, where people take their welding yes. skills and make these most beautiful sculptures. And so, sculptures, yeah. you know, these different types of trades, um, you never know what a student's going to interest them in, in, until they get their hands on. And, and this is what's so exciting about it. Uh, Dr. Anzalone, give me an idea. We talked a little bit, you know, about some of the trades, but can you give me a, a, a few more that are offered so everybody knows exactly when you say trades, is it something that would be of interest to my child? So, yeah, uh, there are different ways of, of going about, you know, getting, getting, uh, education on trades, we have certificates. So some of them are four courses, for example. You take four courses and you're certified as a, as a fiber optic technician, for example, right? Then we have associate of science degree, and those are normally the ones where the trades reside on. And then we also have what are clock, clock hour programs. Let's say our, you know, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, HVAC is one of those. Uh, auto mechanic is another one. So we have, IRSC offers total more than 120 different programs. We have bachelor's programs, we have associate's degree, we have transfer degrees or short-term certificates. So in the end, what I can recommend people to do is approach one of our campuses and talk to our career advisors or talk to our advisors and we can help you get, you know, where, where you might be a good fit. 
Now, we, we also have assessments. So sometimes people don't know what I want to do. I want to do something in the trades, but they don't know what it is. We have an, an assessment, and then we can give information on the salaries and the positions. We have employers that work with us and are waiting for, for these graduates. So you know what to expect when you complete your program. That's a lot of information there you just shared with us and how important that is for students that are, you know, looking for a career. And one of the things you touched on, we can share with you what the expected salary could be. Yes. You know, that's that's super important. It might be something you love, but if you're only making, you know, $10 an hour and that's where you're going to top out, maybe I need to look at a different something career. Something else. That's exactly. right. So uh, it's really wonderful that you have different counselors and, and different people for students to talk to and and take tests to see if they are they're proficient maybe in an area they didn't even realize they were proficient exactly. in. So um, I'm sure you have a lot of wonderful stories. Is there a couple that stand out to you as some of the students that you've seen in the last couple of years? Yeah, uh, I, I can share many of them. Uh, one is our own co-worker. Uh, she completed her bachelor's degree. You know, she was part-time with us, then got a full-time job, and now completed her bachelor's in business. And she's trying to pursue a higher, you know, higher positions in the college. So we're very excited to have our own. Right, you know, right. Improving their, their, their potential, right? You know, she's educated from the very best. So. Exactly. <laughs> yes. and we, we're, we're proud to have, to have students like Tracy and many other ones. So, yeah, we have many students. We have students with disabilities, and we see them struggling through years trying to get their degree, and then they complete their education, and they're getting a job. Uh, so we have we have many opportunities. Uh, I can share, you know, personal experiences in, in education. You know, single mom, three teenage students is one of my role models in my life. And then she was doing a program. She wasn't happy with it. She did a program in engineering technology and now makes, you know, more money than most of, of, of my team members. And what you're just touching on, this IRSC is not just for high school students. Exactly. It's for anybody of any age. We have many adults. We have veterans programs. We have, again... We're, our job is to serve our community. Anybody that needs to upskill, we are there for them. And we have many choices, as I was saying before. It's like a menu, right? Yes. You can do something in 10 weeks. You can do something in one semester, two semesters, two years, or four years. We have all the options. So for those that are not graduating high school, they've already graduated. Is there any uh, tuition assistance for those people? That have no... Graduate. It's already graduated high school. They're they're let's say yes. we're thirty and I'm looking to change my career. I'm exactly. not doing very well where I so am. So we at. still have federal financial aid. We have many scholarships. We have a very strong foundation, and there are many specific ones. You know, some some are for single moms, or some are for different different uh, veterans. Of course, we have veteran services. Uh, so just approach us. We will find a way to help you complete your education, whatever your career goal is. How fortunate we are to have Indian River State College here in our community, and it, it is truly something for everybody, and it's here to better everybody's lives. So if you're looking for any kind of change, give them a call. Visit exactly. them online. It's, there's all, all kinds of opportunities. Contact us on the chat online. Come to the campus, whatever works for you. There's something there. I, I truly know that. There's something there for everybody. Uh, what about some workforce initiatives uh, coming up here in Martin County? Yeah, we have a couple more besides from the Rich Center. Another one, the city of Stewart wants to have a training center in East Stewart. And uh, we will be the partner working with them. We're working with them to, to make that happen. Fantastic. Uh, it's going to be, again, the opportunity of providing training where people live. Because transportation, as we know, is an issue for, for our, right. our residents. Uh, the other one is a marine technology center. It's going to be close to the marina that you were that you were mentioning before. Yes. So uh, we, we're going to be opening a marine training center. That's going to be probably a year and a half, two years from now. But we are getting together all the, the association and all the partners to help support this effort. So we're going to have a place where you can learn everything you need to know to build a boat. I'll tell you what, Dr. Ancelon, I mean, the, the marine industry, that's really an industry. It's tough to find detailers, painters, mechanics. There's in that de uh, Carpentry, electronics, that's everything right. that goes, you Upholstery. know, GPS, radar, everything that goes into a boat, again, depending on the size of the boat. We will have that technology available. This is absolutely fantastic, and it's exciting times for Martin County. And you've you talked about uh, several different industries here, but uh, certainly aviation and marine, I think, are some of our larger ones. They are. You know, and then you talked about fiber optics as well, and, and that's something that we certainly need. I'm always so frustrated if my phone doesn't have good technology, and fiber optics is the way to get there. <laughs> so <laughs> we need people in these in these industries. We do. And, uh, Seventy percent of jobs today in the United States require some form of post-secondary education that is not a four-year degree. Only twenty percent require a four-year degree or better or higher. So seventy percent. Think about it. So when we're thinking about our student, our kids, and my son is seventeen, he's going to college right. this year. I'm thinking for my for myself, right? 
he wants to be a lawyer, so he will have to do a four-year degree. But for many, the option is there. I mean, you can you can be making a hundred thousand dollars after two years of school. Dr. Anselm, I think that's really one of the things you need to focus on is these trades folks. They pay very well. They pay very People well. don't realize that until they talk to somebody at IRSC that has, uh, you know, a list of what the salaries are and what what trade you're in and your what you could possibly make. So it's very exciting times. Dr. Anselm, I appreciate you coming in. It's been a really quick half hour, but we covered a lot. I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> Thank you so much. We're honored to be here. And, you know, anytime, we're here for you. Our community 100%. needs us, and we're here for them. We, You certainly are. And, again, uh, don't forget about it's on... You said February. The promise deadline. Uh, the dual enrollment info session, the 23rd of February. Promise deadline, 10th of March. There you go. March. Yes. <laughs> promise deadline, March 10th, 23rd of February. Information, and that's at the Chastain Campus at Indian River State College uh, in Stewart. So thank you so much, Dr. Anselm. Up next, we're going to have Armin Grossman. You don't want to miss this. He's going to talk about the five traits that successful people have. We'll be back. We'll be back.